Hey there everyone, all the techies and data enthusiasts there. So guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Previously, I created a reel or a short video on explaining what is GitHub models and how can you access them and how can you apply for the waitlist. So previously, I already explained you all, it's a waitlist program. You have to apply first. If you get approval from GitHub, then only you can use this uh, AI and LLM models which are available on GitHub. So those who all don't know what is GitHub models, don't worry, I'm going to give you a quick recap in this particular video and we are going to use GitHub models because I already got approval from the GitHub uh, to use their LLM models which are available. So the waitlist has been approved for me. So we are going to use that. I'm going to show you all how can you use this AI models which are available in GitHub, all the open source and closed source models which are available and how can you build a rag pipeline so we are going to build a rag pipeline as well where the main source of llm model or a ai model will be from github okay so it's going to be a very interesting video we are going to see what is the inferencing speed and how much time will it take to complete a task so it's going to be a uh, very interesting we are going to compare it with even hugging face whether it is fast uh, compared to hugging face so those who have not subscribed the channel, do subscribe the channel and on the bell notification and make sure to follow me on LinkedIn for more updates. So now let's get started. So guys, you have to first log into github.com. Then you have to redirect to github.com slash market space or marketplace. So this is the marketplace where you have all the latest accesses which are going to come in. So if you click on featured. You will get all the AI models right now and uh, copilot extensions and many other features. You can just have a look on them. Then you have the copilot. So if you want the access for copilot for this particular topics, you can get the access as well. And models. So this models, which you are seeing, right? This is more important because all the AI and LLM models are available in this only. So the mixed drill, you can see our open AI's GPT models, Pi3 and Llama models as well. So previously also I have explained in a short reel as well, like what is GitHub models and how to apply for the wait list. So those who all don't have the access for this, you can just click on this. So let us use Mistral or Llama 8B model only. So let us use this Llama 8B model. So when you open this, right, uh, you have the information about the model. And here you will get, instead of get started, you will get here an uh, option to apply for the wait list. Okay. So you can just apply for the wait list. Those who haven't uh, got the approval, I'll update the link below this uh, video in the description. So you can just go and apply for the GitHub wait list. If you get approved, you can use it. So now I'll just click on this playground. So if I click on playground, I already have an access for this. So I got approval two days back only. So you can use this model now. You can use this uh, Llama 3.18B model. You can ask here any questions like what is AI? So it will answer immediately the Llama 3.18B model will uh, respond to you. It will start to answer. You have the tokens and top P. And guess what guys, this is a uh, completely free. You can say you can use it for free if you get approval for waitlist uh, access. So however, even you can ask me a question like you already have a hugging face uh, where you have uh, hugging face faces from where you can get the models and hugging face models as well, where you can get all the AI models and this LLM models, which are latestly released. You can call from there and you can use, right? Yeah. But even from GitHub, now you have the option. It's a uh, kind of like. Either you can use this or that. So I see that uh, compared to hugging face models in GitHub, you are getting the inferencing speed very fast. So we'll uh, see that going forward. But you can see here as I ask the question, it is able to generate the answer here. I can change the model as well from uh, using this model. I can go to uh, 70B model as well, 70B or we can even use 405B model, which is not possible to use on uh, our normal local system, right? What is AI? Explain LLM. I hope this will give you the answer. So AI is, yeah, about AI it is answering.
So as it's a 405B model, I guess it's taking time to respond on the things. A large language uh, model that's typically uh, designed. Okay, so it's taking time to respond because it's 405B model. So that's the main reason. It took more time to respond. Still it's going on. Okay, I'm not going to waste time here. So you can access any models here. You have Mixtral, you have OpenAI. You have Pi3. I guess this OpenAI uh, requires API key, if I'm not wrong. So system prompt stop. Okay, GPT-4 is now free for me then. I can access GPT-4 because I don't require an OpenAI key here. So you have the code here as well, which you can directly use and implement in your... Uh, I mean, you can use it for your uh, Google Collab and you can implement it here. The same code I have used here. And finally, after that, I have changed and built a rag pipeline. So let me go back to Marketplace. And I'll open the models. Now here, I'm going to go for uh, Llama 8B model, 3.18B model. I'll click on Get Started. So after you click on get started, you have the detailed information here. So you have to create a personal access token. So go to personal access token. You will immediately get an option here. So token. So you need to generate a token here. So a uh, fine gain token. Okay. It's fine gain token or classic token. It's of your choice. I generated a fine gain token. So this uh, AI access is the fine gain token, which I'm going to use. So as that is generated, it's for API. So I am going to use that same token. So you can see my token here. Obviously, I'm going to delete this token after this video. So it's no use for you to uh, save this token anywhere. Okay, let me connect to this. So once you can get the token, you can export. You have to export the GitHub token to your terminal. As we are using our collab, so I'm not going to export it. I'm just going to save it as a variable and call it. So change the language as well. So if you scroll down here, it is asking for Node.js, right? Here at the right side, you have an option here from JavaScript, change it to Python. So and SDK, you have Azure uh, AI inference SDK. So internally, they are using Azure here. That's fine. That's not a problem. So all the models are available in Azure. So they are accessing from there. Uh, it's okay. Even the code, if you see, you will feel that it's a bit similar to our Azure using Azure OpenAI. But it's okay. So we are able to access these models for free. That's great. Or else you have to pay Azure's cost. Okay. <laughs> so approve for the waitlist. You, I mean, apply for the waitlist. You will get the access. So as my terminal is, I mean, my uh, runtime is uh, connected. Now let me run this. Okay, so we have already added the token. So the token has been uh, ran successfully. Now let me just uh, install Azure AI inference here. Pip install Azure AI inference. So Azure AI inference is also been installed. And you can see here, uh, you don't need to specifically write the complete code. Here you have all the code. So this is an example basic code. And here you have uh, more example sample codes. All the sample codes are available here. Based on this, you have to use. So it's just Azure's uh, free limit only. So you, you will be able to use the free limit for some times, I guess. Then they are going to make it paid if I'm not wrong. So here you can see the code here. So we have imported OS from azure.ai.inference import chat uh, completion client. So the same we are going to call right in system message, user message and Azure key credentials, all these uh, libraries, right? We are going to import in Azure OpenAI as well. Those who all don't know what is Azure OpenAI and how to use it. I have created a complete playlist. And even if you complete the playlist, right, you will get a certificate from Azure OpenAI uh, or else you can say from Microsoft Azure, you will get the certificate. So that playlist link is in this video description. You can go and watch the video. There I have explained about Azure OpenAI and its course, which is offered by Microsoft. And how can you complete the course and get the certificate? Everything is detailedly explained in that complete playlist. All the topics are explained. 
it's going to be very interesting you can go and check out that particular uh, playlist as well and if you are a student that certificate from microsoft will be very helpful for you all it will add a weightage for your resume so do check out that the link will be in this video description and even in i card session so after this we have the end point end point is nothing but model.inference.ai.azure.com so this model is uh, end point is available in our azure right so the model is available in our azure so that's the reason this is our end point and model name so meta llama 3 uh, 3 okay 3.1 is not it's 38b instruct model so this is our model name and github token so either you can call it from os.environment so if you are learning locally on your vs code you can call it i am running on the collab so i am directly giving the variable here github token variable which is here so token is equal to github token chat completion so client uh, we have defined a variable and we have called uh, chat completion client endpoint so the endpoint which we have here and credentials azure uh, key credential that is your token so the token which is mainly required so that we have mentioned here and response client dot complete so system message you are an ai helpful ai assistant it's a prompt okay so content is nothing but it's a prompt you can give anything you are an ai helpful helpful ai assistant assistant okay you are an helpful assistant one of the questions ask or you can say So who answers uh, users question in a funny way so what is capital of india so now let us see the previous uh, response was the capital of india is new delhi so it is a straight forward answer now let us see as a funny response what it is going to give you are talking about <laughs> india so the capital of india is new delhi but let me ask you have you ever been in india if not you should uh, totally visit or try some delicious naan bread and curry <laughs> so it's uh, giving you a recommendation as well it's answering actually in funny way so if you don't uh, give this uh, command right it's going to be a straight forward answer so to make it a bit interesting i gave the prompt in to answer in a bit more funny way so you can see a straight to one line answer okay even that's helpful and this is helpful so to test and uh, to explain you all how to use it that's the main reason i have given this so max tokens is 1000 temperature is 1.0 oh my god and top p is equals to 1 so they have mentioned 1 here but normally we should not uh, mention that high temperature it should be between 0.2 0.7 because we don't want ai to be more creative going forward i'll explain you in the rag pipeline why we use less temperature import os so from azure.ai.inference import chat completion same and all the models and finally the token and here we have a system message user message assistant message and a user message again so you are an helpful uh, assistant so that is the system message user message what is capital of france and assistant message so the response what it should give the capital of france is paris so that is also mentioned now user message what about spain so it's a continuation like the previous one we are giving as an example and we are telling to generate answer for this so instead of spain i'll give a what about hmm. we'll give india or let us uh, give it sri lanka okay to make it a bit interesting apart from that nothing so you can see here for sri lanka it's colombia it's answering uh, perfectly and the same goes here so this is an another example the same like uh, system message and user message give me five good reasons why i should uh, exercise every day so let us change this question a bit so exercise it's boring 
फाइव गुड रीजन वाई आई शुड लर्न ए आई तो वॉट इट इज गोइंग टू सी यू कैन सी अर हाई डिमांड एंड जॉब ऑपर्चुनिटीज ऑटोमेशन एंड एफिशियंसी डेटा एनालिसिस एंड इनसाइट क्रिएटिव करियर ऑपर्चुनिटीज पर्सनल ग्रोथ so yeah all these are fact only so you should definitely learn ai to survive going forward because there are a lot of layoffs even i am listening so if you don't want that to happen make sure to grab your knowledge on ai and be updated in the skills or else companies don't care about the employees they just think about replacing so if today you are going to leave the company immediately within one week they'll arrange a new person so they don't care about it they only want profits they want to generate profits from you so for that they'll go to any extent so when they are in losses they are ready to fire you so don't love your company just love your work and love your skills <laughs> i'm not uh, giving a gyan here okay but i just wanted to tell you all so i just told you all so now let us dive into our rag pipeline so this is our rag code which is very simple so it's not going to take much time you need to install all this so we need to install py pdf py mu pdf open ai lang chain lang chain community and cpu and fast embeddings actually open ai is not required but yeah for azure inference it might be required so fast embed is nothing but the embeddings which we are going to use it's officially from quadrant it's going to be very interesting by the time this gets uploaded so let me upload a file here pdf file or a research paper i'll upload a research paper it's going to be very interesting so let's go at this one okay so this is jamba research paper okay uh, we are going to use this research paper only for this complete video you click on this it will be downloaded i guess yeah it will be downloaded that's not a problem so is everything yeah so everything is installed so py streamer metadata so all these models right whichever is required so all the libraries are installed now let me just explain you this uh, rag pipeline quickly this is a simple rag pipeline it's not an advanced pipeline so we have imported chat completion system message user message credentials and py pdf to loader and we used uh, fast embeddings and we used fires as the vector database so fires we can use it locally here so that is the main reason even you have many other vector databases like you have quadrant you have pinecone and many more uh, vector databases but uh, i don't want to make it more complex to use those vector databases and their apis and endpoints so i am using locally fires only so from langchain.txt splitter import recursive character text splitter from langchain.schema import documents so these are required so we have imported them and token is equals to github token models is equals to so endpoint and models is equals to same so client is equals to chat uh, completion client endpoint and token credentials this we have in our same example previously that only we gave here after this uh, extract text from pdf so for that we have run read binary and py pdf so pdf dot render so this is a function to render the file so pdf file path is equals to so the file path which we have updated we have given here and pdf text is equals to extract text from pdf so this function we have called and we have loaded this pdf path document so we have created documents of it so text splitter we have used recursive character text splitter and chunk over size is equals to 1000 and overlap i gave it zero but actually you should not give zero you have to give it uh, some other values you can give anything but not zero so if it is uh, zero the overlap will not be there it will not identify the similar words text is equal to text splitter dot split document so document should be uh, loaded here so i have loaded it embedding so fast embeddings embed dimension is 1536 
and vector store is equals to files dot uh, from document text comma embedding. So we are going to uh, store it in a vector store variable. So we are going to create embeddings and store it there. So similarity and top k one. So we are asking it to give the top k first result itself, which is a topmost result that only I want. So I gave the k as one. Ask question. So question context is equal to retriever dot get relevant documents for the based on the question. So then we are going to get the context and join window. So response is equal to client dot complete message. You are an helpful assistant. User message based on the following context. Answer the question. So question model we have given here, and you can see a temperature. We gave it zero point three. There they mentioned it one dot. So you should not do that. That is because so the less temperature the model uh, is having, it will stop to be more creative. When there is less creative, then you have the chance of getting the accurate response. When you give becomes uh, more creative, your model becomes then there is a high chance that it uh, gets hallucinates. Okay. Response dot choice zero and message content. If response dot choice else no response. So this is to return the response. If there is no response available, it will say that no response available. So here there is a simple question. So what is the main topic discussed on the document? So let me run this. Okay, it's loading the fast embeddings. Okay, the main topic is discuss about the evaluation of language model called Jamba, uh, various uh, natural language processing tasks, specifically in the context of few short learning and large context tasks so let us see what a uh, question we can ask about jamba in the research paper so let me just open it okay so this is the research paper so on this what we can ask uh, model architecture is there to Jamba implementation in signal. Okay, throughput analysis. So let us ask it what is throughput analysis? Now you can directly ask the question and answer will be generated. What is throughput analysis? Based on the context, it appears that throughput analysis refers to the measurement of the speed or rate at which a model process text data typically measures the token per second. In this specific case, the throughput uh, is compared across different models, Jamba, Llama 2 and Mixtral, the context length from 1K to 128K. The evaluate, to evaluate their performance, the goal of throughput uh, analysis is to assess the efficiency and scalability of the model in processing a large batch of context data. So yeah, it's giving the answer perfectly actually. So apart from this, I would recommend you all to give a try on this as well. So I'm not going to answer uh, or ask the questions multiple times. You all can give a try on it. So I'm just going to upload this complete code into my GitHub and you all can use it. Before that, uh, where is it? Yeah, find gain access token. So the token is exposed from your end. So I'm deleting the token in front of you all <laughs> so that you guys don't use this. So I'll delete it. I have to verify it. So I'll delete it once this particular video is done. So guys, that's all for today's video. Do like, share and subscribe the channel. Meet you all in my next video.